Friday morning and we're at the, the No Name Nationals. We just converted our bedroom into a bracket car. We're set to go. This year's No Name National 2023 was more fun for me. Not that there was anything wrong with the event last year. Actually, it was cooler and better temps. But um, I was just somewhat of an inter introvert and it's a small amount of awkwardness when I meet somebody for the first time. And last year there was a whole bunch of meeting for the first time, a whole group of people. So uh, that made things just a little bit awkward. But this time I showed up I didn't have any of that feeling. I'd already been here, already done that, already met a lot of you. So uh, uh, I was, you know, uh, we weren't gonna put a lot of emphasis on get out there and record every conversation, record every car, whatever. I just told uh, uh, my camera lady, I just said, film if you feel like filming, take care of yourself, stay hydrated, stay in the shade, whatever footage you get, I will make a, a video out of whatever you got, so that's what we're going to do. Um, she did a wonderful job, but there was no pressure. We treated it like it was a non-YouTube event, if that makes sense. We just had fun. Uh, it was great uh, to see some of y'all again, uh, Pat and Jackie, mostly old car, uh, parts and rust. Um, uh, great to see the, the BTP guys, uh, Joe from Just Small Par Joe. Uh, rapid track. I don't want to name y'all because somebody's gonna get left out, right? I'll stop right there It was also awesome to see some people who worked really hard to get their cars there uh, Tony's hot rod garage uh, worked very hard to get his big block truck there um, Glad to see that there and make some passes uh, Brian from dust devil wanted to get his duster there last year didn't he got it there this year and just there's just a bunch of good stories like that um uh, Turbo Tom trying to get his last few subscribers at the gates so he could participate, and he did. Went down the track in his Model T. So it was just a, it was an awesome event. Uh, how can I leave out Big Mike's Hoopty Barn? Um, he worked so hard, so hard to get that uh, uh, Plymouth there, and he he did. Um, and most importantly, a special thanks to John Wilburn and Dallas Brown for making this event even possible. Them guys work extremely hard, not just at the event, but all year long. Hats off. Here's Tim driving the 318 wheel, 440 cubic inch, big block Mopar under the black hood. The screaming yellow machine. First, first time run for the for the bracket race. So Blair Boys up against 318 Rouen. And this man can do it now. Not only is it, is it his race car, it's also his transportation to and from the event, as well as the place where he can sleep in the main round. Wow. Just made our first test pass. Um, uh, reaction wow. time, it's a point oh nine. I ain't staying around very long with that reaction time, so I gotta shave on that. I gotta make some notes to myself and then we'll try another test run. See if I can't get that down to around a 001 or something.
And I'm in trouble now because this time my reaction time even got a little bit worse. It was like a .13 or something. Not good, guys. I was so far away from red that I decided I would leave early in the second ball just to go red just so I knew where the, where the red light was. So that's what I did this time. Round one against Dude Mopar. Um, he's a, a seasoned veteran racer. Uh, Nice guy. Uh, we knew we were going to face each other just the way we were lined up and how they were calling him out. So uh, he came up to me and said, look, one of us are going to have to buy back because one of us is going to lose. You want to split that cost? And I said, fine with me. racer I'm not he was my first round competitor he quickly took care of me in more than one way uh, not only did I break out but he got the better tree so but uh, the good news is it was first round I was able to buy back but congratulations Thank you, sir. on your win and we split the buyback on to round two against Alan a auto works Larry driving a Mustang with a v8 this was really weird. I actually got to go second. Yes, I had to chase down a, a V8 Mustang. second round. It was awful fun to race him. Glad he made it to No Name Nationals. I look forward to maybe racing again in the oh, future. Oh, we're running it back because I run hot. You, All right. You got me. Next time. All right. But I got beat by Van and not by Dan, so I'm okay. <laughs> I'm going, bro. Have a good one. Y'all be good. Here's the 318 roll run machine. On the round three against Ricky Jure from Jure Racing. Um, he actually has uh, uh, a lot of bracket racing. He's a bracket racer, good guy. Uh, he races kind of local to me. He's kind of a local guy. Um, but anyways, uh, he's, a, he's uh, put a lot of work into his bracket racing over the last couple of years. And uh, uh, he, he, in his early bracket racing, he adopted a name from other YouTubers called Red Light Ricky because he, he couldn't stay out of the red. And the Jure Racing Plymouth Duster. Tim's got the transmit van dialed in on a 1092. He's gonna have a big head start. He'll get the Duster from down on a 7. Man, 
likely he sent that right over to me. It's contagious. And I red lit. This is Ricky from Jeray Racing. He's a Bracker racer. And uh, the nickname the YouTube community game was Red Light Ricky, if you don't know. I raced him, but it was me that red light, so <laughs> thanks for the good race. Yeah, no Congratulations. Problem. And unfortunately, you didn't get it. I didn't get the red light Ricky money because I saw the next round, so yeah. I know how to lose and I know how to lose bad. So, but uh, check out his channel if you want to see more bracket racing because that's mostly what's on his channel is bracket racing. So, thanks, Ricky. Yeah, they say, you know, you got to find every way to lose. And congratulations to T's Good Time Garage. Terry over there, all the way down from Idaho, uh, came down and won our bracket race eventually. Talked to Terry for a little bit at the burnout contest. Super nice guy. I'm here with my friend Mopar Sam. He drove over and met us here. That really added to my day. Um, if you don't know, go to Credence Chrysler Revival and you'll learn a lot more there on top of what I might have messed up. He'll straighten you out. Head on over there. Check him out. He's got some cool stuff going on. Hey, this guy here gets a lot done with a little bit of stuff. Just watch his videos, you know what's going on. He won't steer you wrong. And our Friday concluded with the with the burnout contest. And uh, we went down there, and here's just some of the uh, quick clips of it. And we'll let you finish up the 2023 No Name Nationals from our perspective by what we saw at the burnout contest. And we thank you for watching.